What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I wanted to, I guess, ask you guys a question. I've been thinking about this ever since Cody has finally finished his story. I wanted to know who should be Cody Rhodes' first opponent for the WWE Undisputed Championship. Now, we did see on Monday Night Raw that it seems like Cody and The Rock will be crossing paths once again whenever the rock finishes up filming uh will most likely be <clears throat> like uh probably around SummerSlam. they'll probably have their face off again the rock says he wants to have that face off with cody so that should be very interesting i'm sure cody will still be the champion by then um and also there are rumors that roman reigns should be returning around that time as well so that's gonna be interesting SummerSlam seems like it's gonna be pretty explosive depending on how things play out over these next few months but in the meantime in between time we got to figure out who will be uh cody's first uh official feud for the wwe undisputed championship so i asked this question to you guys on twitter because i wanted to get y'all opinion on this particular situation and get y'all feedback and i asked who should Cody first opponent be for the WWE Championship? Give me some valid reasons why that person should face him. This may be in my next video. So shout out to everyone that is uh, actually uh, responded on here. I really do appreciate y'all, man. So let's get into this one. Someone said, Jimmy said, I'm going with Solo on this one. Now, that's actually not a bad idea, to be honest with you, because they haven't really been doing too much with Solo. And I think Solo kind of getting involved um, with the, the main title scene, that could be very interesting because of the story you can tell that while Roman was gone, Solo said, you know what? I'm going to step up for the bloodline. I'm going to take out Cody. And if you guys remember last year, um, Solo and uh, Cody... Uh, before uh, last year's WrestleMania, they had they they had their face off, and Cody was basically saying, "When are you going to step out of the shadows of Roman Reigns? When are you going to be your own person?" So I think that would actually be pretty cool to have Solo potentially say, "You know what? Roman's gone. I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna take you down myself." And it could give a little bit of more momentum to Solo. Yes, we know Solo would lose, and he's kind of on a losing streak right now, but. He needs some type of momentum. Maybe you don't have him lose clean. Maybe there's something that happens bloodline-wise. and Someone getting involved and maybe a new member of the bloodline. Who knows? But I do think that would be pretty interesting, depending on how they booked it. So we also got the draft coming up relatively soon. So we I'm not sure if we're going to find out maybe before the draft or after the draft. Um, who's Cody's future opponent for, uh, for the championship will be coming soon. I'm sure he probably will be defending that backlash. So, But I like Solo as a, a potential first opponent. Uh, homie Tommy said, I could see it being someone like Bronson Reed. He's been doing solid work, and they just gave him the Andre Memorial Battle Royal win. So I think having him challenge Cody first can really boost his stock some more. That's a fair point. They're trying to get Bronson Reed more into the mix as a, a credible threat. So, I mean, that could be a solid first opponent. So, uh, to see how Cody overcomes that obstacle. Um, someone else said, in all honesty, Solo, uh, honestly, Solo, have Solo realize this, his time uh, win a tournament. He actually is about to beat Cody. We have a Jimmy Uso interference, but Solo wants to do it on his own. They argue, Cody capitalizes, capitalizes and win. Solo demands for Jimmy to get kicked out the bloodline. Mm. That's that's a that's a, a nice idea. I even responded. That's a pretty fire. That's a pretty fire idea. I actually like that. The story that they're telling there potentially. And then uh, someone else respond under this. As much as this would make sense, Solo has been on a losing streak since beating Cena last year, and that. That's the only thing that would hurt him. The only thing that's hurting him right now is he has not been winning. So maybe a tournament would be the best way to have him get some wins under his belt. Like a, you know, yeah, a tournament. A tournament to see who's going to be the number one contender. Have him actually get some wins under his belt. Get some maybe momentum. And then you can build off that. Because right now, Solo can't catch a win to save his life. 
Of course. Of course. This one right here. Nonsense. Don't hinder the gender. Mahal needs to be his first opponent. Just don't have him win the title, though. My response is simple. I want to fight you as well for saying that. Hulk Hogan <laughs> coming for you, nigga. Ass reply. <sighs> of course. Of course, Jinder Mahal being his first opponent. Of course. Of course. Why not? Why not? Um, this person said, I think the best choice right now is Randy because because of the obvious history they have together. And I've seen a lot of people say it was Randy under under, under this uh, particular tweet. I've seen a lot of people say Randy. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't trip. I wouldn't trip. I don't know if it should be the first, but maybe the second one. Because you want to space this out until we get to Rock and Roman when they return, most likely during SummerSlam. I'm... I think the top choice for a lot of people would be Randy, but I think they need to build towards that. So you have a little bit of time, a little bit of gap between now and then, unless you want to do that now and really build off of that, make a series of matches. Because I feel like that match shouldn't be a one and done match. I think that should be a series of matches, at least two, at least two. Um, But the story is there. I, I, I think a lot of people were initially thinking it was going to be uh, most likely like um, Randy versus um, Cody at this year's SummerSlam. But obviously The Rock may, you know, may have changed plans on that. So hopefully that does happen. I do think that will be a few we will see hopefully sometime this year. I don't know if it'll be the first one, but if it is, the story is there, legacy, like the stuff, the history they have there, that shit's going to be fucking fantastic. And I would have uh, Randy Orton be a heel there because it, it, it works better if Randy is a heel there. Of course, Omos. And I said the same thing. I want to fight you. Of course, Omos. No. No. No, 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 no. Someone made a a, a, a good uh, good point with AJ Styles. It's a match a lot of people will want to see. And it would be the biggest baby face on SmackDown versus the biggest active heel on SmackDown. Just because AJ uh, doesn't, just because AJ lost doesn't mean anything. He lost at WrestleMania 32 and faced Roman for the WWE title at the next pay per view. That is a fair point. I don't, I don't think anyone will have a problem with that. I'm okay with that. I am AJ Styles versus Cody Rhodes. I like that. I like it. Once again, you could have a tournament, have him be one of the winners potentially. I like that. And now he finally gets his shot at the championship. He's going to do whatever it takes. Now that Roman's out the way, he's going to do whatever it takes. He doesn't have to worry about the bloodline. You know, he's probably going to feel a little bit more confident. I like that. I like that a lot. A fresh matchup for the championship. I'm okay. AJ Styles deserves to be in some type of title contention, uh, contention going forward. So, yeah, I'm all for that. I think AJ Styles is pretty cool. Uh, Someone said Kevin Owens. If it wasn't for Cody making a power play to get a uh, switch, switch J from SmackDown to Raw, KO would still be on Raw with Sami Zayn. KO can see the success Sami has had without him and blame Cody because he and Sami could have still been sharing the spotlight. You don't need KO to be a heel for this to work. He can play the prize fighter role we saw back when Triple H first took uh, control over creative. I like that idea. That's a good That's a good way to ha implement that story. I like that. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm, That's not a bad one. I like that idea. Y'all coming up with some pretty good scenarios, man. Y'all say I got the script. I think some of y'all may have the, uh, have the script. Uh, Someone says AJ Styles, Sheamus, or Solo. I've seen a lot of that so far. Hear me out on this one, Ross. Braun Breaker. Not yet. No, it's not time. It's not time. We need to see him more on TV. Build him up some more. He will get his moment. He's the future. He is the future for WWE. Build that up. You don't have to. You don't have to rush that. He is the future for WWE. I don't think it's time yet. 
They can have that match for sure. They can definitely build up towards that match, but I don't know if that should be his first opponent. So, give it some time. I, I think we, uh, I think that can be a future matchup for sure, but not yet. Um, let's see what this person said. All right, hear me out. I don't want no bloodline members going against Cody, at least for the time being. That story is done for right now. We can circle back around during SummerSlam season. I feel like either LA Knight, Braun Breaker, you can build off LA Knight's momentum after this huge win at Mania. You could go with the ladder or and put over a, a over a new young star to go after Cody. I've se I've said it before and I'll say it again. Braun Breaker is the next guy up. Once again, I think that's a good idea, but we got to wait for it. And LA Knight, even though he did win, I think like I said, I think I'm sure they'll probably put some type of tournament to make this happen. I don't know if that should happen right now cuz these are two over baby faces going at each other which you can do but i don't i don't think that should happen right now not yet they shouldn't have that matchup at least not yet so someone else said solo a lot of you guys are saying solo and um Randy Orton Randy Orton student versus teacher i like that one the idea there all right now this is a good one Gunther reasoning Gunther feels like he's owed a title match because uh because to get both of his main event matches at uh, WrestleMania Cody eliminated Gunther from the Royal Rumble they can revisit that they can not yet like I said a lot of these are just later down the line if you really want to do that but not yet because I feel like whenever whoever whenever Gunther goes for a one-on-one -on -one championship main uh like main title championship he's winning you don't have gunther who had one of the the longest reigning intercontinental championships of all time go against either whoever's the championship for the world heavyweight title on raw whoever's the champion i'm still assuming cody will still be the champion by by the time we get to that point you don't have him lose do you can't if it's a one-on-one -on -one for the, the top title, he's not losing. You can't have him lose. So that's why I said they would probably hold off on that. If anything, he would probably go for the World Heavyweight Championship. But you don't have him lose yet. He should not for no, not on no one-on-one. -on -one. So I like the idea, but I don't know if that should be happening anytime soon with Cody. Because you would have to book yourself in a corner. And you can't have Cody lose. And then you considering depending on when this happens but not anytime soon and you can't have gunther lose so well, let's see someone said kevin owens again he could take an l and meanwhile in the background since ko and randy have been teaming you can build you can uh, uh you can be building the randy versus cody story now that's good so kevin owens would be the bridge to the randy and cody story that could be interesting that could be very, very interesting. I think the Randy part will probably be the best option. I don't know if they do it first because Randy Orton was one of the people that had him had Cody on his shoulders at WrestleMania. And you know they can add that into the promo package. So I don't know. This is this is uh this is very interesting. This is very interesting. What a, someone said this man right here yeet because cody brought him back to the company and put him on raw to change uh to change and be a top superstar on raw and he helped cody finish the story well he's already going for the world heavyweight championship against damian priest so that's probably not gonna happen so but yeah now you guys listed some good stuff i see braun breaker once again gunther once again aj styles once again randy once again uh kevin owens i'm seeing a lot of people in solo those are the consistent ones i see aj styles randy orton um kevin owens gunther and solo some solid names some solid names i've even seen a couple braun breakers in here but yeah, I, I see a lot of people saying AJ Styles is a great way to kick it off. If I'm WWE, if I'm them, depend, it depends on the draft. If you have a tournament, whether it's on SmackDown or whatever, I'm okay if AJ Styles wins it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay if AJ Styles wins it because it'll be a fresh matchup. 
I think that match will be great. I think it'll be entertaining. And it'll be cool to see AJ Styles back in the main event scene as a heel. I like it. I'm okay with... He, if he's the first person, I'm okay with it. But y'all made some good points. And I do think, you know, Braun Breaker maybe in the future. You know, I think that would be pretty cool. Braun Breaker, an up-and-coming star going against Cody Rhodes. And Cody's like, damn, this guy is... He's an unstoppable force. He'd be very good. Very interesting. So, I like the suggestions. Appreciate everyone that sent me one. Um... I, you know, I wasn't able to go through all of them. I don't want to make this video too long. But I appreciate y'all just taking your time out your day to, you know, give your feedback. And y'all came up with some pretty interesting ideas. So I want to see in the comments down below in this particular uh, video, who do y'all think should be Cody Rhodes' first opponent? I'm not talking about future opponent. His very first opponent. Who would you guys like to see face Cody Rhodes for the WWE's Undisputed Championship? And what would be the scenario? Why would it make sense for that said opponent to be facing Cody? Why would you want to see that? Let me know down below. And you never know. Maybe one of your guys' ideas actually happens. I am okay with AJ Styles if he's the first person to do it. But I do hope eventually we get to Cody versus Randy. I think a lot of people want to see that too. So, But comment down below. Let me know. I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still the Unspeeded YouTube Resident Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See you on the next one. Peace.